Hi Gemini, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Gemini Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Gemini. The message could be for you. Feel free to take it however it resonates with you in your situation. Keep in mind these are general and timeless readings. Everything that you need to access is down below in my description box. My website link, Instagram handle, all of that good stuff is all located down below. I just post more things on quantum physics and crazy things that I do like to play around with, so you can jump over there if you would like, but no pressure, as always. Never give your power away over to tarot. You are in full control over your life, your choices, and your decisions, so always keep that in mind. These are mainly here just to help you guys out if you're moving through challenges and obstacles. The intention is obviously to help you guys move through those a little bit easier or help you to just see things a little bit more clearly if you're dealing with confusing situations. It's always my intention. But you are absolutely never, ever tied to any kind of outcome in this situation. Again, you're in full control over your life. And yeah, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. I got one that dropped out. Thank you for all the ways you've been here and supported the channel. Let's dive in. Okay, we got a bridge. It didn't come out in reverse and not in the upright, which makes me think possibly something is coming together for you guys. Or, yeah, like, I don't know, something like that. We have the eternal child that's in reverse. Interesting. Oh, wow. Wow, we have the lover. That's your card. Ish. At least in the tarot, but hey, archetypes too. We have the lover. Okay, so there's a person that could have come forward. Some of you guys, you're dealing with just partnerships. Some of you, it's romantic. I mean, but it is a lover. And so I have to just kind of take it how it is. All right. So there was a person that could have been, at least had this attention to come towards you with this energy like maybe there was something that was beginning to formulate but there could be something here about the eternal child like someone could be still either younger or they're like very young in spirit whatever that means like there could be something here with this person is kind of like crystalline child or indigo childish like, I don't want to fully discount this person and say, oh, they're immature, I, even though maybe that is the case. But something could have gone on here. This could be some kind of important person in your life. We have the high priestess. Okay, so the way this person is perceiving you right now is that they, they don't know a lot of what is going on in your life. Because it, they could think that you're very quiet it doesn't have to be full on like secrecy. You just could be kind of reserved or you keep things to yourself. We have the strength. <laughs> okay. I'm, I honestly don't know if that came out in the reverse. It did kind of looked in, look in reverse. So I'm going to be a little bit versatile in how I interpret that card for right now. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, shiz, wow. Okay, five of wands is in the reverse. That's in the recent past. It feels pretty like self-explanatory, especially leading up to the 10 of wands, but it looks like in the current situation, it's like some kind of, uh, there was maybe a recent conflict or maybe it was drama whatever was playing out but you could have decided to like boom just you know like release it because you could have felt like it wasn't really yours to deal with or it's not it's something like that but then we have the queen of swords reverse which i'm not 100 percent on 
Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna say it straight up because that obviously is your element. And, um... Yeah, take whichever gender you are because, wow, we literally have the King of Swords and then this Queen of Swords reverse. We have the King of Cups also here in the environment. Wow, two masculines. Two masculines coming in. I I moved too soon into this position. <laughs> okay, hold on. Ow! Oh, my knee hurts. Alright. Let's see. Oh, wow. We have the Two of Cups. Honestly, honestly, the way I interpret this gem is like someone thinks that you're not communicative. Like, I don't know if someone's interpreting you as being shy or you like hold back a lot. Like you really do hold back a lot. Sometimes when you do communicate, this person could view you as just like going through something really rough. So you're not like really coming across as this overly um, um emotional person because you could feel queen of swords huh i don't know they're just not getting a super like emotional vibe from you okay two of swords reverse why do I want to put those together? Oh my gosh. You have the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups. <laughs> this is so freaking good. Oh, wow. Okay, Jen. I'm just going to say it straight up. You have a person that really wants to come in and, like, um, they have a high level of interest for you. I'm just going to say it, like, straight up. I know that the lover is pretty specific, and you know what? I don't want to be a buzzkill in this reading. I know typically I can be perceived to never talk about love, but we have the lover. Okay, so some of you guys, this person could be at a distance from you, and this person, like, just, they really want to be around you. Okay. <laughs> um... This person could feel like they need to be strong right now, or you could feel like you are the high priestess. You might be a little bit like, like I said, you're a little bit hard to read or interpret. That's at least how someone could be seeing you. Like they don't totally know what's truly going on in your life because you might really have that covered up. Either your emotions or whatever has been going on in your experience, you actually might be pretty quiet. Even if something pops up in your environment, you don't show a whole lot of reactions. Because you could just be used to that. Like the people just, they want to get something from you. They either want you to go off on them or break no contact or to get all super competitive. Like something like that. But you could be showing like quite a bit of strength, but this might be, mm. um, there's a lover coming in or someone might be thinking that way, but this person thinks that you're like, you keep yourself hidden. I don't know if that's right or it's some you might experience someone else like that that you might see this person is kind of like private the high priestess in the upright it's not like this super deceptive person it's more of like a it's more of like a sigma they move in silence they do a lot and then they pop up looking all like crazy victorious well, that's like the, that's the energy of the high priestess. It's like, they just move in silence. 
so you could have been like that for a while you made a move in silence and then because you could have been dealing with a person in your environment that's like a little bit reactive maybe even a tad explosive but you like made a move and it was like apparently really smart because you could have trusted your intuition and it was like it was the right move it was like really good idea because it could have moved you out of some kind of situation looks like there's communications that have been <laughs> happening slash not happening there's a couple people in this environment here you could be connecting with someone right now or you're thinking about it there's someone that could be really intelligent articulates themselves well you could be kind of attracted here um this process i guess why i put these together if this is you and this could be something that you're moving into if you're especially going through almost like an archetypal shift you could be maybe you were in this queen of swords energy you were kind of like going through a challenge here with this queen of swords reverse either that you were trying to stay no contact from some kind of situation or you were just trying not to give any energy at all to it but you might be if you were dealing with stuff going on mentally with that two of swords reverse that can be like coming out of cognitive dissonance and you're actually starting to make progress so you could almost even interpret this as you going through this development here where what you shift into is like you're going to be perceived as being very clear-minded you know what you're talking about that you're like e even coming across as kind of detached like you're just factual and it's somehow gaining respect or people might want to be really connected to you especially one person because we have the two of cups here some of you guys someone legit wants to date you but I also feel like other people by proxy are just being influenced by these positive changes that you're going through because like I said for those of you you could have you could have known like it was really time to drop something from your experience or completely get your focus off of it like you did just have a lot of self-discipline and self-restraint self-control to to get your energy off of something there's a person here that it's like you're not really feeding the situation but this person might be really agitated by you <laughs> because in the past that you had with this particular person the past like five of wands reverse there was some kind of conflict that you had with this person some of you guys this person there was like a subtle rivalry that started maybe even like you could have felt like someone wanted you to compete or if if there was a third party dynamic like this person could have try to set up like two people competing for them for their attention but it looks like you you either completely disengaged from that and you didn't give it any energy at all especially the high priestess like the freaking the freaking high priestess is so powerful seriously because people misinterpret that person all day long you might feel like people do that with you but you just have like a different way that you read situations you get things from impulses and like you might even receive downloads or whatever you want to call it but the way that's usually how you navigate through situations is like you don't always go in and like immediately trust surface level things like you you know when it's time to be quiet and not let your ego get all activated i like that's why you might be coming out in this almost self-mastery energy when it comes to your level of experience but for those of you in the meanwhile while you're going through the shift where while you're either coming out of confusion or coming out of cognitive dissonance you might communicate here with a particular person that will give you some kind of clarity or insight about 
maybe something that someone is doing behind the scenes and that's why it always could almost like mentally put you two steps ahead of the game which is why like you're not immediately pulled into confusing dynamics or things that would throw you off because like you can almost see a like pretty pretty soon if someone is really imbalanced or really fragmented or split and so then you can immediately tell that based off of this person's behavior that they're gonna try to like come at you in a particular way to make you question yourself but you always immediately dissipate it possibly because if you have someone here like this who either has like further experience than you they might be coming in and articulating something or they have a really clear mind they're completely disconnected from the situation so that's also why this might be naturally making that dissipate it's like validating your experience that is so freaking therapeutic and important i can't even tell you how much how important it is when you even just feel like someone is on your side like someone gets you someone gets your experience that's really important for you to have somewhere in your life okay because this is such a good influence like i do feel like when you go through this shift there's a positive thing that's lining up here some of you guys is like um some of you someone want i i know i said it again someone might want to date you okay it's possible um whatever this is talking about but they have a really strong energy and they are also very they have a strong level of integrity and right now they could be filling out the situation to kind of see but it might be also too that they're thinking about this they're thinking about getting closely connected to you and then they might want to develop something more like bring you into their circle so to speak like introduce you to other friends and things like that and you might be feeling as though this is like a good wish fulfillment it's like what you were hoping and seeking for anyway let me dive into the extended gem i'll see whatever else wants to come out if you guys want to join me over there feel free go down below click on the vimeo link see it over there but gem if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love, wishing all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.